The rolling hills of Claytor Nature Center provided the venue, and the Blue Ridge Mountains were the perfect backdrop for the 2011 ODAC Cross Country Championships on Saturday. But it was also an opportunity to highlight the ODAC's partnership with Special Olympics Virginia, and Reuben Kidd got things started by the ceremonial running of the torch. That was followed by Christy Little leading the crowd in a recitation of the Special Olympics oath. The ODAC women's race got started at 11 o'clock in the morning with 80 runners taking to the 6K course in Bedford, Virginia. And it wasn't long before the leaders separated themselves from the pack when Olivia Mills opened up an early lead after the first loop and she was followed up by Lauren Schultz from Washington Lee and then fellow Bridgewater teammate Molly Smith in third. Mills ended up winning the race with a time of 22 minutes, 0.6 seconds, followed up by Schultz and then Smith she was followed by Roanoke's Grace England, who was a top first-year runner and claimed ODAC Rookie of the Year honors. After Annalise Madison from Washington Lee and two Marlins and Kelly Fouth and Emma Helsell finished, it was two Bridgewater Eagles, Stephanie Breen and Whitney Fitzgerald, that gave the Eagles four runners in the top nine finishers and helped them to the team title. Joined by Olivia Mills, she just won the 2011 ODAC Cross Country Championship on the women's side. Olivia, talk a little bit about what that means for you. Um, I mean, it was a good race. The girls, we, we did awesome. We put in a really good effort. So I'm really proud of my girls' team. Um, we, we really did have been working hard this season, putting some really good effort in the workouts. So it paid off. <laughs> Next up for you is the South-Southeast Regional, which I believe is down in Texas this year. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about what you expect for that because a little different weather down there will probably be more like 70 degrees. <laughs> Um, it should be it should be a good uh, uh, difference. I think I think we'll do really well with the conditions and everything. And it, the course should be pretty flat in Texas, so that'll be definitely to our advantage and everything. And then after that, it's possibly on to the nationals if you qualify out of that. Would that what would you look for if you could make it to the nationals? How would you feel about that? Um, I would be very excited again. Um, it'd be very much an honor to be able to compete there again. So. The men's race, which covered a distance of 8 kilometers, got started at 12 o'clock p.m. with 87 runners in the field. The early portion of this event would prove to be a little different than the women's race, as the front of the pack stayed tight together, a group that included Roanoke's Tim Smith, Virginia Wesleyan's Sean Whitson, and Bridgewater's Luke Soule, which was followed by 2010 winner Derek Koske and Chad Norton, both from Guilford College. Smith would prove to be the winner, followed by Whitson. And then it was Luke Soule who came in as the top first-year runner, winning ODEC Rookie of the Year honors. Chad Norton overtook teammate Koske for fourth position. And then it was Nick Lauder from Virginia Wesleyan. And the first of two straight Lynchburg Hornets, helping them to the team title, was Cody Stanton and Billy Orndorff, who outpaced Dan Nafsinger from Eastern Mennonite to the line. After the race, we got a chance to talk with Tim Smith. It means a whole lot. It's uh, great, you know, the dream come true. It was, uh, I think, a well-earned, well-fought race, and, uh, you know, all my hard work has paid off to win the conference championship. Yeah, there's a uh, hill in the back uh, of the first loop that you do twice, and um, that's a really challenging hill, and then, you know, some rolling hills, too, as well, and then a, you know, very steep downhill and rolling hills in the last uh, half mile of the race, too. It was a really challenging course, but, you know, I like a challenging course, and it was a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed running this course and racing it. If we look forward a little bit now, now that the next thing up on your schedule is the South Southeast Regional down in San Antonio. Talk a little bit about what you expect there because it's definitely going to be different weather. It'll be much warmer. That's for sure. Uh, uh, that'll be nice because today was cold. And uh, I'm not a big fan of the cold weather. You know, I can I can do, deal with it because uh, you got to deal with it when you get out there and race. We prepare for anything that's out there and uh, be able to perform on any given day, any given weather. Um, rain, sleet, snow, hail, or heat. So uh, it'll be nice to have a little bit of uh, warmer weather, definitely. And uh, hopefully... Uh, it will be dry and not raining or anything. So. And if we look even past that, if you qualify out of it, we're talking about the national championship. Yes, sir. What would that mean for you to make that field? That would be the biggest honor of my life, I think, so, uh, to uh, be able to run at the national level in college.